from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning. Welcome to Today on a Monday morning. I'm Matt Lauer. Good morning, everyone. I'm Savannah Guthrie. Just a Coming up next, a new blood test that reveals the gender of your baby and much more at an earlier stage than before. We'll tell you more about that. But first, this is Today on NBC. Thank you. Thank you. And then we've got some news about a new, less invasive genetic test for expectant moms. It can reveal a lot about a baby very early in pregnancy. It is not without controversy. We'll get into that. And right now, thank you very much. Coming up, we're going to talk to Whitney Houston's mom, Sissy, about her brand new book. Also ahead, a new test that can reveal the gender of a baby about a month earlier than you're used to. And a little later, we're going to show you how to build the perfect nachos for Super Bowl Sunday. But first, these messages. Today's Hell is brought to you by Alka-Seltzer Plus. Available in a liquid gel. And we're back now at 837 with today's health. And this morning, it's a new kind of genetic testing for expectant moms. In a couple of minutes, we're going to meet a couple who just tried it and are about to learn the sex of their baby live on our show. But first, here's NBC's Janet Shamlian. I know, aren't you? Wait for this all day. Well, don't you love that one? Robin Vossler and husband Jason are expecting their first baby together this summer. It goes back to the planning and just wanting to be as prepared as you can for your child coming into the world. At almost 35, she's at a higher risk than younger mothers for delivering a baby with genetic abnormalities, like Down syndrome. To screen for those, doctors routinely use tests like amniocentesis and CVS, which are invasive and can give false positive results. Robin's doctor suggested something relatively new and very different, the Maternity 21 Plus test. It's uh, the best test that we have that's non-invasive today. It's a simple blood draw as early as the 10th week of pregnancy, allowing some of the fetus's DNA to be extracted and analyzed. And it can be done weeks before other screenings would reveal genetic issues, according to Robin's doctor, who's now using the test in her practice. So you're buying that patient um, an extra either month or even two um, that they can opt to do other testing, see a specialist, and things like that. It costs about the same as amniocentesis, around $2,000. The DNA is sequenced at the test maker's lab, and results come back in a week. The manufacturer, Sequinome, claims an accuracy rate near 99%. But the advantage is that there's no risk to the test. There's no invasive testing. And a non-invasive test can lessen the chance of miscarriage. But experts caution, it does have limits. Uh, you can do, for instance, the test we're discussing right now, and you will know about trisomies. But this doesn't guarantee that there couldn't be some other problem with your baby. For Robin and her husband, getting an earlier answer on potential genetic issues was important. <laughs> yeah, you're right about it's that. one less thing for us to worry about being 35 and older at delivery. And it's not the reason for the test, but it is a benefit for some. It will reveal early on the baby's gender. That would work. For today, Janet Shamlian, NBC News. And Robin and Jason Vossler are with us now, along with NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Good morning hey, to Matt. all of you. Good morning. You had the test about a week ago, yes. I, and I hate to give a woman's age on the air. You're going to be 35 when, you, June, give, yeah. when you give birth, mm -hmm. right? Is that the reason you decided to have this test, because you're in that high-risk category? Yes. Yeah, so at our first doctor's appointment, um, our doctor sat us down and told us we would be considered advanced maternal age at delivery and just went over some of the precautionary tests that they want you to take. And um, checking for Down syndrome is one that they begin at 35. All right, let's get right to the good news, okay? Yes. You took the test about yes. a week ago. You've just received the results yes. from this test, and those results told you what? The test came back negative, so it just they checked for three different kinds of Down syndrome, and so it just meant that that chromosome wasn't showing, and so we are safe that the, the baby will, does not have Down syndrome. Had the test come back in another way, would you have gone off for other testing? Would you have gone to see a specialist? What would your course of action have been? I think for us, it would just be planning and understanding what is the next step. You know, do we need to see a new doctor? Are there new precautionary things to do at that point to find out more about having a, a child with Down syndrome? Nancy, let me bring you in. Mm -hmm. Right off the bat, this is less invasive than yeah. any where they actually put a needle into the uterus right. and extract fluid. It also, that carries a small risk of it miscarriage. Does. 
Are you in favor of this? It's not that I'm in favor of it. It's that this is the next scientific step. It was going to happen. And I think for couples who say, look, it's not the gender issue. It's we want to rule out some problems that are incompatible with life. And yes, we want to know about Down syndrome. Critics will say, hey, look, this is a way to find out early and then abort because right. we want the perfect baby. It's what do you do with the information? Well, the bossers have said, you know, it's, it's not about that for them. It's about being able to plan. So even if they knew they were carrying a Downs baby, we talked about this. They said, no, we're going to go ahead with the pregnancy, but we would line up specialists. We would talk to pediatricians. We might plan for extra daycare. And I think in that regard, it allows people to really think, okay, what's the realistic expectation of this pregnancy? And what does my life look like with this new baby? So it's going to be an individual choice. Different Very couples, individual. different expected as much as amniocentesis is, but allows you to plan three to four weeks earlier. All right, and I did mention that there is a, a, another little side benefit to this early <laughs> test, yes. and that is that you get to find out the gender of your baby about a month right. before you would normally find out, and you've decided that, that you would like to know that? Yes. And we're not breaking any HIPAA <laughs> laws no, here no or anything, laws. because Nancy <laughs> has found out, she has spoken to your doctor, yes. and she has found out the sex of your child. Yes, found out on Friday afternoon. And you will find afternoon. the sex of your child in that box right there. You ready there. to open that box? I think we're ready. All right, yeah. go oh, lift right, away. Right here. Go ahead. <laughs> Jason? Right here, help yeah. me. This is the time oh, where you and, normally and say, do you have a preference? And you'd be smart not to answer. <laughs> yeah. And they I said don't before they have don't. a preference. <laughs> It's a boy. <laughs> yes. We see lots of blue yeah. eyes. No, I do no not preference. have a preference. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, were very you, exciting. Were you suspecting one over the other? You know, I had no idea. I wasn't. I had no idea. There's a lot of boys in his family, so he said it's probably a boy, but um, we're really excited. Well, yeah. now we want to know names. That's we right. want to know everything else. Well, my you look at the Super Bowl totally different. extremely different. excited. So now he has his first little brother. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Thank and you I'm so glad. Much. Uh, good luck to you for a happy, healthy, wonderful pregnancy and baby. And thank you. So a great much. life together. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Congratulations. Nancy, thank you, you as bet, always. Matt. Still ahead, how to build, boy, talk about a change of subjects. <laughs> how to build your nachos with the perfect balance of chips and topping for Super Bowl Sunday.